Welcome to the Commissioner's Report. I'm Brian Lacey and I'm sitting in for Jeff Foley on this episode of the Commissioner's Report. Joining us from District 5, Polk County Board of County Commissioner Neil Cumby. Welcome to the show, Commissioner. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Also joining us, the Director of Land Development for Polk County, Ben Ziskel. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, I'd like to dive into a few things right away, if we could. Um, Commissioner, if we could, how does the board work and interact with land development? Well, uh, uh, somewhat limited. I mean, we develop the comprehensive plan. We develop the land development code with the folks in land development. And then uh, when we have our public hearings, when uh, it reaches a certain level, the, if, if the development's intense enough, then we have a public hearing process where the board is involved with land development staff to either approve or deny or modify and approve applications as they come in. Now, when you spoke of the comprehensive plan, you knew coming from Tallahassee there were going to be changes. You guys got, tried to get out in front of it, but the changes came along. Talk to me a little bit about getting out in front of that plan. Well, the comp plan was developed uh, back in the 90s has not seen a lot of changes in that period of time and with all the development that has taken place in Polk County in the last you know five or six years uh, it we thought we need to make some changes uh, we were going to try to increase our land development standards uh, for setbacks for uh, open space and we did that so we we worked on it for months to get you know changes agreed to in place to go forward and then uh, just recently along comes Senate Bill 250 and there were some last minute changes to that that have really uh, upended our plan and has basically at least caused us probably a year and a half delay in being able to make any changes. In all your years on the board, can you kind of put in layman's term really what it is that land development does and, and really um, help the people understand how they make changes and help Polk County grow. I probably ought to defer to Ben, <laughs> to ben on that one and let him do it. Uh, and and uh, I, I, mine may be too simple, uh, but uh, Ben's a professional and been in doing this uh, all his adult life, I think, and I, 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 I would I would defer to him. <laughs> I believe he's giving you the floor. Well, yeah, thank you. Uh, the, the comprehensive plan, the intent of it is is really to be a 30-year growth plan for the county to try to partner private investment with public infrastructure investment. So the plan calls for Im improvements in water and sewer infrastructure, uh, transportation systems, ca conservation, housing, public schools, all in tandem with each other. So th the idea there is that as we grow over the next 30 years, that as private investment comes into the county, we've got adequate infrastructure to support that growth. Um, the other part of growth management, of course, is our land development code, and that's where we adopt standards so that, that new development meets uh, adopted engineering principles, and, and the residents can ensure that what's built in the community from a design standpoint and an inspection standpoint passes all the adopted standards. So it, it's both a long range and a current uh, growth management strategy that we use here in the county and across Florida. Well, we certainly thought the board, uh, a majority of us, felt like it was time to make some changes to the plan. Uh, we had no idea uh, that anything would derail that or like say upend it, but Senate Bill 250, which is well intended, and I think a lot of people like Senate Bill 250 because it's a relief, hurricane relief bill for Southwest Florida related to Hurricane Ian, but there was some last minute, I'm talking about last minute language inserted into the bill that um, I don't know if everybody really understood the consequence of putting that language in, how it would affect 27 counties, I think, mm -hmm. something like that. And Senator Pasadoma is a friend of mine, has been for years, Speaker Paul Renner, a friend of mine, but I just have to believe that they weren't exactly fully, completely aware of what that last minute change uh, would do to Polk County and some other counties who were trying to make changes that were completely and totally unrelated to uh, anything to do with Hurricane Ian or any other storm event. But Ben knows more about uh, you know, Senate Bill 250 than I do, but I know it, it really has stopped us in making these changes that we feel are, are, you know, overdue. Ben, if you could elaborate on Senate Bill 
250. Yeah. So as Commissioner Cumbie said, the bill is a is a hurricane relief bill. It provides 61 million dollars worth of financial support to those areas that were hit by Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Nicole. Uh, but there was a, a last minute provision added that says that any county or city that was within 100 miles of where either of those storms made landfall is prohibited from making any ad amendments to its comprehensive plan or its land development code, which could be deemed more burdensome or more restrictive. So again, as Commissioner Cumby said, the massive growth that we've seen in this county over the last two years, we, we've been the fastest growing county in the state for two years in a row. In 2021, we were the seventh fastest growing county in the nation. Uh, in 2022, the fifth fastest growing county in the nation. So as the development continues to come, we've seen a need to to enhance our codes, enhance our standards, to provide more open space, provide more um, sidewalks, interconnectivity, pedestrian friendly improvements. Um, unfortunately, the bill that was passed was passed retroactively to the day that Hurricane Ian hit landfall, which was back in September of 2022. So essentially all the work we've done since September till today is put in abeyance and we're prohibited from making any other changes until October 1st of 2024. So again, as it was in a well-intended hurricane relief bill, um, you know, 100 miles is a, is a big area and covering 27 counties, it's the entire southern part of the state of Florida with the exception of Monroe County. So we're talking hundreds of cities, 27 counties and millions of people. Um, and we just didn't see the type of impacts that a lot of the coastal cities had. So we think it's unintended consequences, but we're, we're stuck with it at this point. We've got just about a minute left, Commissioner Cumbie, Ben. Uh, with the time that we've got left, is there anything else that the residents really need to know when it comes to this bill and, and anything with, with land development? I don't think so. I mean, it, the uh, October of 2024, I think, is when uh, we can, again, start to discuss or propose amendments to the comp plan. As Ben said, we think that this is really an unintended consequence. Somebody uh, in the legislature or somebody uh, got somebody in the legislature to put this in and it, it became part of the bill. But again, it was very last minute. The people who monitor this stuff for us were unaware of it uh, until it was over and done. The Florida Association of Counties, which monitors all these bills uh, that affect counties, they were completely you know, caught off guard. So it was a last minute uh, insertion into the bill. But it, uh, th there was some, well, you can only assume that, that there were some cities or counties that maybe wanted to make changes where stuff that had existed prior to the hurricane and was wiped out, that you would, they were raising a standard on that. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that's why somebody had this put in. But what we were trying to do had nothing to do with the hurricane, yeah. no effect at all from uh, Ian or Nicole in, in uh, you know, the, the changes we were trying to make. So right now we have to wait almost 18 months to, to go at it again. And hopefully the uh, board will be ready to go again and make some of these changes, which like I say, we're, we feel like they're overdue. Ben, we've got just a little bit of time left. Talk to me a little bit about where folks can find out more information about land development and say following Senate Bill 250. Sure, certainly visit the county's website, uh, contact land development division. Um, the website's uh, constantly being updated and we are um, working with our marketing communication folks to do a complete revamp this summer, but always can contact the land development division for information on any current project or proposed project or any updates to the comp plan or the land development code in the future. Commissioner Cumbie, uh, Ben, I want to thank you for coming and joining uh, us on, uh, on the Commissioner's Report and uh, we will look for the information on Senate Bill 250 and anything land development. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And we want to thank you for joining us on this edition of the Commissioner's Report and we'll see you next month. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and like our social media.